Today we are going to be walking through one of the biggest and best ways to do infographics, whether it's finding them or creating your own, it's called Visually. Uh, as you can see, Visually lets you do just about anything. Uh, we're on the homepage right now. So the main things that you should know about are the ability to find infographics, which is great if you run a blog or something like that where you want to showcase other people's work or if you want to create your own. Uh, so those are the two biggest things with Visually. The rest of the tools in this course also cover ways to create your own, but Visually is by far the most popular. Uh, so let's get started. Visually lets you sign up right here. You don't actually need to sign up at first though to actually use it. Uh, so you go to the home page. It's visually, V-I-S-U-A-L dot L-Y, uh, just so you know. And let's say that we're looking for something about entertainment. Uh, they do a nice job sorting all the infographics. And these are all freely updated by anybody who wants to add them on here. And it's a great way for companies, if you run a company, to get their infographic out there, uh, to sort of distribute it to the masses. Because I know a lot of bloggers who actually use Visually as a way to find cool infographics. Uh, so let's say we are looking at something for entertainment, as I said. Uh, you can click on anything, and there doesn't seem to be a lot for entertainment for whatever reason, but they do have this one, which is pretty cool, where it's actually an interactive infographic, where you can click on the big hand right here, and it'll open it in a new window. And this is just a little pop-up ad. You can ignore that. And basically, as you can see, there's uh, all kinds of different things you can do. You can look at different movies and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so we'll just say we like that. And we'll just go back a little bit. Um, basically, interactive infographics are pretty hit or miss. But what we're going to focus on is just your standard infographics. So let's say we want to look at the Steve Jobs life story here. This is another infographic uh, that's a little bit interactive, but you can also click on it and you'll get a larger view of the infographic. So it gets to be really huge, so you don't necessarily always want to do that. Um, so as you can see, there's a great way to filter and organize and view the different layouts. You can have a list view of all the fun infographics. They're not all going to be great, but for the most part, they're pretty fun. And if you're looking for some easy content to throw up on a website, then I would recommend Visually. The second thing to know about Visually is the Create tab, which is a lot more exciting than the boring thing I just showed you where you can just find infographics. Uh, so walking you through it, you can create basically your own kind of infographic. A lot of them are preset and they basically are templates. So they let you sort of create a Twitter uh, infographic that shows what you've done on Twitter, some popular stuff that you follow, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, you can also make your own Venn diagrams, which we cover a little bit later in a different lesson. Uh, you can make your own Facebook monster, you know, that kind of fun stuff. So let's say we want to Twitterize our, ourselves, whatever that actually means. I don't think that's an actual verb, but we're going to connect it with... Uh, with Twitter here real quick. We'll just authorize the app. And feel free to pause it if I'm going a little too fast for you. So we'll enter some Twitter accounts here. Uh, we'll just do a random celebrity. Okay, and you can just choose your hair color, which is fun. We'll give myself some blue eyes, and I'll just create the infographic. And this should probably take a little bit of time, but it's basically just making a very quick visual representation of your infographic, and it's pretty snazzy. Um, if you can wait just a second, we'll wait for it to load, but in general it's a great way to create infographics if you have absolutely no design sense whatsoever. So if you don't like to use Photoshop, uh, if you don't like to use Illustrator or anything like that, then I would strongly recommend trying out some of this stuff. It won't necessarily be a viral hit, but it will be interesting. Okay, so we found a Twitterize after it generated it for us. Uh, and basically, as you can see, it just makes your very own 
fun Twitter profile, and you can do lots of customizing, and I paused the video really quick just so I could make this nicer for you. And as you can see, there's all kinds of useful information presented in a nice, pleasing digital fashion. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, and we can always go back to the Create tab and create other fun infographics. We're not going to do that right now, but I definitely recommend you exploring it. Uh, they seem to be adding them on a pretty regular basis. And the last thing that you should know about is simply the marketplace. So this is great if you are looking to hire a designer or an artist who can make you an infographic. Uh, you can always call them, but you can always just hit the Get Started button. And Visually does a really good job at connecting you with people that can make you an infographic or a motion graphic or an interactive infographic. Uh, so definitely check the, the three things down here. Uh, it's sort of like Behance a little bit in that regard, which we also feature in a different course here on Modern Lessons. But other than that, that should all be pretty self-explanatory. You can see who is working and who you can work with, who's used them, and all that kind of good stuff. All right, I hope that has been informative and that you're ready to try out visually.